Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is me, your host Prajwal, and today I'm going to show you how you can mint a NFT on ZK Sync. So let's get started. As always, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if this was helpful. If you have any questions or any queries, please leave them in the comments below and subscribe and hit the bell icon if you like to be notified for future uploads. Uh, in the previous video, I talked about a possible uh, ZK Sync airdrop. Uh, again, there's no guaranteed. This is up to you if you want to try that. And as always, do your research as this has been out for a long time now. And uh, I've mentioned in the video as well that there's no guaranteed and I cannot guarantee that you're going to get an airdrop by following the video either. But this is something that you can learn and sort of get a first mover advantage once we have more protocols and services on ZK Sync, which is the future of layer two scaling solution for Ethereum layer one. All right. And today I'm going to show you how you can mint a NFT as well. So you can sort of do all the things that I've mentioned in the previous video. So you will use, you can watch that video on how to transfer funds from layer one to ZK Sync. Uh, if you haven't watched that already, but if you have, so you can do this as well, which probably, which doesn't cost you a lot anyways, uh, might make you eligible for some additional rewards. And finally, again, there is no guarantee that there will be an airdrop or you will be eligible for the airdrop by following the steps in this video. All right, this is only for educational purposes and nothing is guaranteed. Now, first thing is you must have some funds transferred to layer two ZK Sync from layer one. And I think I, I wasn't clear on the first video that you will need to activate your account as well, which I found out a bit later. So if you go to mint an NFT, uh, connect your wallet as Wave 3 Wallet MetaMask, and just sign that and as you can see fund your zk sync account for the moment this wallet is empty uh and this is only a test wallet so this is empty at the moment i'm not going to transfer any funds uh if you would like to learn that watch the video in the description or on the top right corner but what you need to do is you need to go back to zksync.io wherever you transferred your eth to layer 2 from and click on open wallet connect your wallet and you should have some funds listed here if you transferred eth you'll have eth if you transfer usdc or any other assets you should have them listed here um as a moment it says no balances yet but you should have some and once you transfer your funds this is probably what your wallet looks like at the moment i have 100 dollars in eth uh, a little bit of usdc and usdt uh what you want to do is go to send and authorize to send on zk sync first right this is this doesn't cost you anything click on sign there will be an information saying that uh, you need to activate account or account activation fee something like that under this button if you see that that means you need to activate account uh, there might be other ways to do it but what i did is so i transferred some fund from this wallet to another wallet so what i did is i copied the address of another wallet pasted it here and then i selected the token eth and I select to send and then I authorize to send it and then sign the transaction. And the second step was to activate my account. And then I activated that as well. And on the final step, I canceled that, meaning I didn't finalize the final step. I'm not sure if it's the same process now. I'm not going to do that on, on this video. But basically, you go fund your layer two account using layer one from zksync.io that's the first step after that's done you need to activate account otherwise you won't be able to mint nft from that website and finally what you want to do is to activate account is come here click on send select another wallet uh, that probably you use i can just click on send to eth layer one but you got to make sure that if uh you got to make sure that you don't send it completely or you don't actually withdraw everything because it's just going to cost you as you can see it's going to cost you 52.32 so what i suggest is i get another wallet send your tokens to layer two just in case you, you're not able to cancel the transaction once you activate your account all right this might be confusing please leave a comment if you have any questions or if you run into any confusion so that i can sort of help you out 
So how do you check if your wallet or your account is activated is you go to zkscan.io. So if you are familiar with Etherscan, so this is basically a blockchain explorer for ZK Sync mainnet. So if I copy my address, for example, I don't have any funds. I haven't transferred anything on this wallet. So if I copy this wallet address, copy and paste. As you can see, it says nothing found. But if I copy the address, of my other account that I use most of the time. As you can see, it's giving me the account info, account ID, um, account balances and everything like that. So that means my account is activated. So I don't know if this is also another criteria that you got to fulfill to get an airdrop, but you can't mint an NFT uh, without this, right? Now, after that's done, go to zknft.xyz, connect your wallet, click on get started. And what do you want to do? Just give uh, just random, just give it a random name. And you can choose any image. And you can leave that empty. It's up to you. And finally, what you want to do is click on Mint NFT. That's uploading NFT data. So if you try to mint an NFT, click on Sign. If you try to mint an NFT, if you try to mint an NFT and if it gives you an error message saying the account isn't activated or something, uh, or there was an error message, so probably your account is not activated. So I would go and check. So as you can see, the transaction was submitted, track it here. So if I click on that, it will give me all the information about the transaction data, right? So it says initiated. It probably will only take a couple of minutes. And once that's done, if I go and check my open wallet, and connect your wallet, MetaMask, and it's logging me in. So if I go and check my NFTs, as you can see, I have multiple NFTs minted. Uh, these two were um, these two were the NFTs I minted earlier, and this is the one that's currently been minted. As you can see, that says pending. So once that's done, you can open it and content hash your account status verified so that means your nft has been minted right all right so that's how you mint an nft on zk sync i hope that was helpful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and please like the video if this was helpful and subscribe for more, more videos and if you like to know how to use zigzag.exchange or the first exchange on zk rollup then there's a video on the top right corner or in the description once it's up, which is being worked at the moment. So you should try that out as well. There might be a airdrop for that as well. And since it's fairly new, it, uh, it has only been probably about a week since, since it's been out. And it's still, it does have a main net, but it's still not fully rolled out. So you want to check that out as well. And if there is an, a, there is an airdrop in the future, you might be eligible for that and also the, the fees are ridiculously cheap at the moment on zigzag exchange you can only trade eth um usdc usdt there's not many pairs at the moment but still uh, go check it out um the video should be up on the top right corner or in the description once it's uh, once it's uploaded and you have a nice day